Hundreds of breast cancer survivors and their supporters packed the Bryce Jordan Center for the Pink Zone game. It's the pinnacle of all the fundraising efforts to support breast cancer research. Lauren Hensley joins us live now. She spoke with some of those survivors who attended the game today. What's blue, white, and pink all over? The Nittany Lady Lions Pink Zone. The Lady Lions basketball team donned the traditional blue and white hues, but a pop of pink was a new addition to the uniform. The game Sunday was the eighth annual Pink Zone game where the Bryce Jordan Center is transformed into a powerful pink presence. The goal is to promote breast cancer awareness and empower survivors. Janet Miller and Lou Hartman are both ushers, and they have more in common than just their job. I was diagnosed with breast cancer back in 2002, about 12 years ago. And believe you me, when you hear those words, it's a shock. This event is very close to my heart because of the fact that in 98 I had breast cancer. Um, since that time I have taken many treatments. I've gone through radiation and chemotherapy, but I am a survivor. These women defeated the odds and so did almost 700 survivors who came out to Sunday's Pink Zone. For Holly Strayer, she drove three hours to be here and she's looking to these stories for inspiration. She will undergo surgery for breast cancer Monday. The nicest part about this whole thing is that everyone is awesome and everyone comes together and supports you and your family. <laughs> It's been good. It's been good. I mean, as bad as it's been, it's been really good. Ultimately, the goal of the Pink Zone is there to come a day when a Pink Zone game is no longer necessary. But until then, all of the donations are going to help raise awareness and create the best possible care for people like Strayer who are still in the battle. And the Pink Zone is providing that bright pink light of hope at the end of the tunnel. Because this is a situation where we cannot change what's happening to us, but I'm a firm believer that the attitude that we bring to it is our choice. And as you walk around and you meet these women and their families, so many times it's very disappointing and what's happening and sad, but here you're part of a big pink family.